one's pretty darn interesting. Built during the early stages of World War II, the Alaskan Highway is one of those roads that you read about that has automotive legend written all over it, like Route 66. And we're going to take it on with the fuel cell vehicle. 2,300 miles, seven days. Let's see what happens. So the car that we're going to be taking on this trip features improved performance in cold weather. We can operate in freezing weather and it has 10,000 PSI hydrogen storage giving us a much longer range than our previous car. The Alcat Highway is a serious drive for any car, let alone a fuel cell vehicle. And uh, so the only way for us to, to really uh, to find the unexpected is to go out and hunt for it. Well, we're here in Fairbanks now and a little more than 300 miles down the road is Beaver Creek over in British Columbia. So we plan to get out of uh, the state of Alaska today in, in one stint. A little bit of rain should be no problem. I think it's paved all the way. And um, I believe that the, the entire trip probably gonna, we're probably going to get in maybe about 4 o'clock. So uh, all things considered, it should be a pretty simple day. That's easy for him to say. Uh, he's not driving. <laughs> <laughs> One of the reasons why we're doing this trip is this vehicle now has a range of over 300 miles under normal highway conditions. And it also has a new cold starting feature. So uh, this would be a great way to test it, to prove it. And over 2,300 miles, it'll also have a lot to do with the reliability and durability of the system. Unfortunately, because of logistics and because there are no hydrogen filling stations, we got to carry our fuel with us as we go. Let's see, the convoy was a fairly big one. We had, obviously, the fuel cell car, a lead forerunner, a RAV4 camera car, two Tundras carrying our technical guys, a motorhome, and behind them, or occasionally ahead of them, three semis. Uh, you might say, hey, this is, uh, this is a considerable carbon footprint. On the other hand, look at it this way. Uh, Edison probably burned a good amount of lamp oil when he was developing incandescence. So Toyota has three goals for all of its advanced technology vehicle development. Uh, the first one is to reduce air quality emissions, um, so emissions that contribute to smog. The second is to reduce CO2 emissions from the vehicle. And the third is to pursue alternative fuels. Current capacity for fuel tanks is uh, something like a six kilograms of hydrogen, which enables 500 miles travel per refueling. And uh, I think uh, recently the vehicle has been showing good capability. Ready to fuel. So this is the temperature inside the tank. So this is the temperature of the hydrogen. We have four tanks, that, and we run them one at a time. So we run one for a little bit, then we run the next one for a little bit, and we keep cycling them that, cycling them that way. And the last two we were on were these two, because as you're flowing hydrogen out, the temperature of the gas goes down. When hydrogen is consumed, there's no effluent, there's no pollution. It's, 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 it's really the ultimate clean fuel. The fuel cell car has to be the quietest car I've ever driven, especially at low speed. It's rivaling a Lexus and how quiet it is. One of the amazing things that I saw on this trip was when the, when the fuel cell vehicle was really powering up the hills under full load at a really high speed, you could see the steam just being blasted out the exhaust pipe. It was really a beautiful sight to think that all of that exhaust is clean, clean water. At Toyota, we strongly feel that hybrid technology is one of the core technologies for the 21st century. And there's many reasons for that. It's, uh, it really allows you to kind of get the best balance of performance and environmental impact by combining different powertrains or different power sources. We've completed our trip on the Alcan Highway here in Dawson Creek, mile marker zero. Uh, we've still got a way to go to get to Vancouver. This is how we fill the hydrogen car, hydrogen car, hydrogen car. This is how we fill the hydrogen car early in the morning. <laughs> so now we're going to try, try and make the run with no refueling from Prince George all the way to Kamloops, which is a distance of like 338 miles or so. And that's day six. I think it's great that by being a first mover in this world of hybrids, Toyota has become the, basically the worldwide recognized leader in this technology. It's a great opportunity for us as a company to propagate this sort of event. 3,751 kilometers ago, we bought this sticker, but we saved it till now here in Vancouver, more than 2,300 miles south. 
the car made it. That's great. My goal was 500 years from now, the small school that teacher will say there was the company called Toyota 500 years ago made our life still possible.